So far, I've shown you my sculptural watercolours with pictures of icebergs on the, la on, on, the, on the land, on the glaciers, on the ice frozen sea. But now I'm devoting my attention to the icebergs that are under the sea. A lot of the time, we don't actually know what's under the sea. Uh, we've all heard of the Titanic problem. Um, but this particular picture was one that intrigued me because actually it's an ice shard. It's, it's a berg that's very thin, that's broken off from the ice shelf. And as it broke off from the ice shelf, the sea then began to rise. Melting icebergs under the sea don't actually cause sea levels to rise. It's when they break off the land, off the, off the, off the frozen ice shelves, that cause the problem. The other problem of rising sea levels is the fact that the ice is getting very thin on the plateaus as well. And as I showed you before, the holes in the ice fields are really getting considerable. This ice shard, this thin sliver, which actually is quite a big berg, shows the sculptural changes which the warm sea is actually doing. It's actually whirring around, getting warmer, and changing the shapes automatically by a natural force. Here we have a bit that's broken off which ultimately will end up to the whole thing. The frozen shape, which was once, is beginning to disintegrate. And here we have the shape of the berg nearer the land, which is quite large, in contrast to the bottom. Presenting the colours for this was fun. I studied many, many views of the depths of sea to try and ascertain what colour to maintain this, this berg and to make the contrast. And I noticed that the depths varied in colour from the dark swirls right up to the light. And it was fun doing it, but I've got to say, there were many attempts to get this one right. I was pleased with this one because I think it shows the sculptural forms I was trying to do and it has a very, very clear message of what happens to the bergs once they get into the warm sea.